Hello students. This is Vidal teacher. Today we will learn and understand a new lesson in English. Lesson number 38, The Magic Kettle from English Bal Bhati for Standard 3. In this lesson we will learn a Japanese imaginary story. Difficult words and their meanings. The name of the story, The Magic Kettle, tells us that it is a story of a kettle which has some magical powers. Magic means doing tricks that seem to be impossible. Kettle means a pot used to boil water, having a handle, a spout and a lid. Students, a tanuki is a small, furry, dog-like animal found in Japan. There are many imaginary stories about this playful little animal. It is believed in the stories that a tanuki can take the shape of anything or any animal. Here in this story, we will see about a tanuki and a peddler called Jimu. Let us now read the lesson and understand the story. The Magic Kettle Once in the country of Japan, there lived an old man. He lived in a beautiful house high up in the mountains. He was proud of his house with its white straw mats and pretty papered walls. In warm weather, he slid back the walls to let the smell of the trees and the flowers come in. Slid means moved easily. One day, he was standing looking at the mountain opposite when he heard a kind of rumbling noise in the room behind him. Rumbling means making a low, continuous sound. He turned around and saw a rusty old iron kettle in a corner. Rusty is old, covered with a reddish layer found on old iron objects. How the kettle got there, the old man did not know. But he picked it up and looked it over carefully. That's a piece of luck, he said, smiling to himself. My old kettle was getting worn out and this looks like a good kettle. He filled the new kettle with water and put it on the fire. As soon as the water in the kettle began to get warm, a strange thing happened. The man thought he must be dreaming. The handle of the kettle slowly changed its shape and became a head. The spout grew into a tail. Out of the body of the kettle sprang four paws. In a few minutes, the man was watching not a kettle, but a tanuki. The tanuki jumped off the fire and bounded about the room like a kitten. Bounded about means jumped high here and there. It ran up the pretty papered walls and even across the ceiling. The old man could not catch it. He called his neighbor for help. Somehow they caught the tanuki and shut it up in a wooden chest. Chest is a large, strong box made of wood. Running after the tanuki had made them both very tired. They sat down on the mat to rest. What shall I do with this naughty animal? I don't want to keep it in the house, said the old man. Why don't you sell it off to Jimmu, the peddler? The neighbor suggested. That's a good idea, said the old man. So they sent for Jimmu. To send for means to call upon. When he came, the old man went to the chest and lifted the lid very, very carefully. But there was no tanuki inside. Only the old rusty kettle the old man had found. He did not want to keep the kettle. He gave it away to Jimu without taking any money for it. 
Jimmu put the kettle in his cloth bag and started off home. He felt that his bag was getting heavier and heavier on the way. But he did not put it down. On reaching home, Jimmu put the bag away carefully in a corner. At night, when Jimmu was fast asleep, he heard a sudden noise and woke up. He could not see anything, but he thought he heard some noises in the corner. When he lit the lamp, he saw the kettle had turned into a tanuki once again. It was running round, chasing its own tail. Chase means to catch. It ran here and there and jumped and turned somersaults. Somersault is a movement in which somebody turns over completely with their feet over their head. Jimu sat watching the tanuki for a long time. Then he fell asleep. When he got up in the morning, he saw that the tanuki had not run away. The old kettle was still there lying in a corner. He picked it up lovingly. Do you wish to stay with me, Tanuki? he asked. To his surprise, the Tanuki answered in a human voice. I'll stay with you and make you very rich. You can show me around. People will give a lot of money to see a kettle turn into a Tanuki and dance. So that's what they did. Jimu set up a booth with a platform. Booth is a small tent in a market. He put the kettle on the platform. At his command, the kettle turned into a tanuki. At Jimu's commands, the little furry animal would then walk, run, jump, leap, turn somersaults or dance. People loved to see the kettle change into a playful little animal that could do all this. They paid Jimu well to see the show. Big crowds of people came to watch the show. And the dear little Tanuki never disappointed them. Merrily, it danced many dances. The shadow dance, the fan dance, the umbrella dance. Merrily means happily. It never tired of dancing. Soon, Jimu had collected lots and lots of money. He had become a very rich man. He said to the Tanuki, Dear Tanuki, you have made me very rich. We can both live in comfort now. Live in comfort means to live life with ease and happiness. We can stop the shows if you like. So, they decided to stop the shows. But Jimu did not forget the old man who had given him the magic kettle. He gave some of the money to the old man. All of them lived long and happy lives. Jimu and the old man are no more, but you may still come across the magic kettle lying in a corner somewhere in Japan. So students, wasn't this an interesting story where we saw how the Tanuki uses its magical powers by his dance shows to reward Jimu for his kindness. We have also learned some new words in the lesson. Let us now read and understand their meanings. Rusty means old covered with rust, the reddish layer that forms on old iron articles. Bounded above means jumped high here and there. Peddler means a person who sells things from door to door. Booth means small tent or building in a market. Merrily means in a happy, cheerful way. So students, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and understood the topic. Keep learning and keep growing. Thank you.